Welcome back folks to the Truffles and today I've got for you another really cool resin tutorial. This is for a 3x3 door design that I thought that I invented about 10 years ago but so many other people have done it that is pretty much public domain. But anyway, I revamped the design and turned it into a spiral door because that's kind of a recurring theme on this channel. And it's got a really cool animation if I do say so myself. So let's take a look at it. That's the opening sequence. And that's how it closes. And it's pretty robust too, so you can pretty much spam it and it works perfectly fine. So let's get on with the tutorial, shall we? So as you probably saw from the intro there, the door is kind of asymmetrical. It's eight blocks wide by nine blocks tall. And the door itself is uh, two blocks over, yeah, and two blocks down. So it's kind of kind of strange to build this thing. I also uh, just built this design after revising it um, a couple of minutes ago. So typically I do these things off of memory. So hopefully it's going to be smooth. So anyway, let's see if I can build this thing. You're going to want to start with your double piston extender, which will be right here. Off of that, place a four tick repeater and a block with redstone dust on top of that. Then on top of that repeater, place an observer with a uh, note block diagonal to a block that you place on top of it. Then below that, place another observer. Of course, for this, you could also use a, um, a redstone lamp. That will be more uh, versatile for different situations, and uh, you'll see what I mean later on. I'll be placing a falling block right here, like sand, and uh, a block of gold. Except this one, for this one, I'm using yellow concrete powder because it looks kind of nice with the gold. All right. So for our frame blocks, you're going to need two columns or three pistons on either side. One here and one here. <clears throat> and you're going to need one more piston on the top facing downward. And again, I'm going to be using our gold blocks to line it. And then we'll be using... Uh, Okay, so the control circuit for this thing is possibly the strangest thing I've ever made. So let's just see if I can remember it here. You're going to want to place a block next to that um, observer with redstone dust on top of that. This will be powering a note block, which you need to take signal off of with another observer. That goes into a block, uh, I believe. And then you're going to want to take the signal off of this block with a, another note block. And place an observer on top of that. And on top of this observer, place another block with redstone dust beside that. Now we're going to actually need to take the signal up another block. So I think you actually have to use another note block here. But I might stand corrected by myself. Place another uh, solid block on top of that. And you're going to need a slab next to this piston to avoid powering it. And then run a couple of blocks in front of that slab going into another note block. Now I kind of cheated in the intro there and place a piece of string. Here we go. Uh, on top of this to avoid uh, it making sound. So I'll just do that here as well and run the redstone line from the observer to that note block. Now we'll be needing another observer on the opposite side of this. This I'll run into a block and then uh, place another block diagonal to that with a redstone dust on top of that. Now this technically powers this piston. So you can either place another piston on top of this or you can just simply run redstone on top of it to avoid bud powering issues. That's what I'll be doing this time. And uh, I'll also be replacing this whoops, with, uh, with a note block so that we can pull signal out of that using an observer, which will be facing downwards into another block. So yeah, that, I believe that's the door done. So let's just give it a whirl. Uh, you'll need to power this directly with a lever or a, uh, a redstone repeater. And it looks like we got it right on the first try. So that's pretty cool. All right, real quick, I'm going to fill in the frame around here with some iron blocks. I'm going to get rid of that uh, gold thing in the background. Now, I'm getting a lot of lag because I'm running the snapshot, so hopefully that's not too big of an issue for y'all watching. Yeah, there's a lot of lag in this snapshot, so sorry about that. Now, anyway, let's talk about powering this. So, like I said before, you can place a note block here, and that's perfectly fine if you want to have the door close when you input a signal. Now, if you wanted the door to be completely silent and you wanted to have the door open when you give it a signal, uh, like our, my previous door design, you can just give it a short uh, pulse there to invert the phase of the door. So now you might have noticed the note block there fires every time that you open the door. So a very quick fix you could do for that is just to replace that with a redstone lamp. And uh, as you can see, there are middle has just fixed itself by replacing that block and there we go now we don't have that issue anymore 
Now, of course, the only downside to using a redstone lamp instead of a note block is that you get lighting update lag. So, you know, that's just one thing to look out for if you're running a uh, lower end computer setup. So that wraps up today's tutorial. If you enjoyed it or if you have other ideas for redstone contraptions, please leave a comment down below. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.